Hey, what's going on guys? Ricky Bruch Racing here and welcome back to AOR League Racing. This time though, we're not driving GT3 cars, we're driving touring cars and this will be the first season ever on AOR that drives touring cars. Should be pretty epic. Unfortunately, I joined too late, so I'm a reserve driver in the Elite Division, which is the top tier, which basically means there are a lot of fast drivers, a lot of aliens. Uh, this week we're on Watkins Glen Short, it will be two races, we have one sprint race and one main race. The sprint race is 20 minutes long, the main race is 40 minutes long and have reverse grids. You probably already seen the video length, so you know that this won't be two complete races, it's only a recap of race 1 and 2 for reasons you'll see here in a little bit. Uh, but I'm driving the BMW 320, which in my opinion is about half a second off pace around Watkins Glen here and I'm afraid it will be even slower on the track that's coming up next week and a week after that so I'll maybe I'll have to switch to the Renault but yeah here we go guys we're gonna cut into the uh, to the live feed here enjoy it About to go green. Now we're going. We're not. Now we're going. Turn one, race one, over, game over. Horrendous mistake by me. This is scary. something I don't usually do. I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. I was trying to get the inside line in... The Watkins Clan SS is coming up here, and you really want the inside line going up the first right-hander here, and I just didn't see him on my inside. I thought it was clear. I had forgotten to put on uh, Crew Chief as well, my spotter. Uh, yeah, I'm... I think I'm relying more on Crew Chief than I actually knew. Um, but the race wasn't completely over after this. I tried to limp the car home, which was probably a bigger challenge than the race itself that was coming up. Not much to do here, just trying to limp it home, enter the pits and have the car repaired, but yeah, I finished last, which meant I would start first in the next race. Left side. Hold your line, clear left. Kinda nervous. Been a while since I started first in these races, so uh Yeah. <laughs> Car left, clear left. Okay, here we go. Alright, Ricky, hold your nerves. Got a Keep decent head smooth. start. No mistakes. You're now in the lead. Slow in, fast out, hopefully. Pretty decent. Gonna need the speed coming up to the long straights here. I don't think he's close enough to make a move. Going into the chicane. Where is he? He's not. I don't know how strong the draft the gets in his car. The plan here would be to, obviously, to make a gap to the guy in second, but just to lose the draft, so we can't draft off me, but with the BMW's pace being what it is around here, I don't see myself pulling that off. We'll see here in a bit. The guy in second is the guy I killed in race one, by the way. So we got Accident 34 minutes ahead of us. Uh, won't require any Our pit stops for tires or fuel. Uh, right so into the only goal one. I have here is to keep the guy in second behind me. But he's in the Renault, and I think most of the guys behind me 
guy in second and third and fourth are all in the Renault, so there's only three BMWs in all, I think, of the 27 registered drivers. I think there might have been one in the Opel Astra. Haven't seen any Mercedes. Uh, so there's a lot of Renaults. It's it's the fastest car in the touring car segment, without any doubts. Just like this car more, but I feel that the pace this car has. Maybe I'll have to change. Next week is Alton Park, which I feel the Renault will be even stronger on, and the okay, BMW keep, will keep be even doing. slower on, so... Uh, the the might force me to change the Renault. If you come too wide in turn one, you get a slowdown, by the way. Really don't want to slow down. Huh? Right before a long straight. So it's half a second behind me. This car is just all over the place. You're locking your right front going into the inner loop. I kept pushing for as hard as I possibly could. I made some mistakes, I did, but in my opinion, the BMW was clearly outpaced by the Renault around here. That's why so many drivers choose to drive the Renault instead of the BMW. Uh, but I think this was on lap 6 when the guy in second finally passed me. He set up the exit out of turn 1 pretty good there and passed me and at the time this happened I actually didn't think it was all bad. Uh, I knew he was quicker than me so I was just trying to stay in his draft and I did for 5 or 6 laps but then the guy in 3rd started catching me in his Renault as well. Uh, the car just started understeering going out of the last turn there and he got a better exit than me and passed me. Uh, but it wasn't over there, unfortunately. I still had my podium, but I was about to lose that as well. And we have this guy coming up behind me. That started, I think he started 26th or 27th, charging through the field. Uh, I did some really good lap times, uh, the last 10 laps, but it just wasn't, wasn't good enough. And he passed me into uh, turn 1 here with only 2 laps to go. I lost my podium position there. Not not much I can do. Um, like I said earlier in the video, next race is Alton Park. I by the time I did this race, I was certain that I was going to switch car to the Renault. But I have to try the BMW at Alton Park and see how it behaves, and then try the Renault. I tried both cars around Watkins Glen here. I instantly did half a second la faster lap in the Renault than I did in the BMW. So. I feel the Renault is by far the quickest car out of these four uh, touring cars that are in their existing uh, product cars too, but I don't know, I just, I love the BMW, I do, I don't love, li I don't like front wheel driven cars, I don't want to drive the Renault, but I don't know what to do, uh, <laughs> but yes I'll have to know on, until next race in Alton Park, but this race I finished fourth which is still kind of decent, I guess. I would assume you get more points for the main race than you do in the sprint race. Uh, but I don't know for sure. I'll have to look that up until the next race, I guess. Uh, but the next BMW here came in at 19th place. So, yeah, we're struggling in the BMW. There's no doubt. Um, we'll see if I'm driving the Renault or the BMW for next week. Uh, I just wanted to say before I end this video what a great series this is. It will be four races. Just awesome racing in these cars. Unfortunately, this just wasn't my race or my races. Both races were pretty boring. That's why I, not, I didn't upload both races or especially the second race. Uh, I just ran by myself until I got past basically, which wouldn't have been much fun for you guys to watch. Hopefully I'll get a better race next week on Alton Park. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.